Hey guys, let's update the BIOS of the Asus C170AR. Most of the time I use USB flash sticks. I get questioned a lot if you can use an external hard drive, if you don't have the option for USB stick. And yes, let me tell you something, yes you can. So in this video I'm using an external 1TB hard drive. Alright, what we want to do is we want to come to the website, we want to go to support tab, we go to driver and tools, operating system, in my case I'm using Windows 10, I go to BIOS, and I hit download. I select my file destination, I go ahead and open it up to make sure I open the right file, and I'm using WinRAR. I make sure that I have my CAP file. So I select where I want to export it. And I'm going to select my hard drive. But before anything, I want to make sure I have my external hard drive or my USB formatted. So I'm gonna close these tabs, put them all down, and then let's go back up Let's select our external hard drive, right click it, and format it. I'm also going to change the name. I select NTFS for Windows. I leave everything the way it is, and if it's different than mine, make sure you put it like mine. And right here, you can put any name that you want. Today, I'm going to use today's date. And let's go ahead and start it. It's gonna take a few seconds. Well, it all depends how slow your computer is. There you go, mine is finished. So I close the tab. I make sure that my external hard drive is showing. Then I go back to WinRAR options. Then I select my external hard drive. There we go, now the file is transferred and now I want to make sure it's there. See right there guys, is the dot CAP. You can hit restart on your computer case if you like that better or you can do it right here on Windows. This is what I normally do. I hit restart, then I tap delete, spam that button. Just hit delete until you get to the bias. Once we get to the BIOS, we want to hit the default settings. This video is sponsored by Creeper24 Gameplays. Yay, that's me. Live gameplays, commentaries, how to edit video tutorials, a series that I started, Mr. Bustamante, dramatic episodes, and more. Guys, come and take a look, and if you like what you see, subscribe. Thank you guys, now let's get back to the video. Okay guys, the first thing that I want you to do is go to default settings, or tap F5. Once you do that, we go to advanced mode, Go to tools and go to easy flash utility that's going to be the first option make sure we select via storage devices hit next and right here is kind of confusing right here where is our bias update see we click that and that's the operating system this right here is something else and it's going to be f4 or something else you just got to click it and find it and make sure that you read you can see the file that it says the bias update and it says cap so do you want to read the file, hit OK and OK again. Make sure that you have the right BIOS update. And right here guys, this process can take up to 10 minutes, it can take 5 minutes, it, it all depends. Guys, one thing that I want you guys to know, it's that most of ASUS motherboards have the same uh, procedure when it comes to updating the BIOS. So if you go and watch uh, my X99A, update bios update it's somewhat similar to this here the process bar is going to be moving slowly if something goes down if something if the computer crashes if the computer freezes go ahead and go back reset the computer and redo it again once the process is done you get prompted with this little screen telling you that it was successfully done and the computer is going to reset itself it can take up to 2 or 3 minutes, it all depends. And there we go, we are back to life. So let's see what the computer is going to do. Oh, right here guys, take a look at that. We got our ASUS C170 AR, uh, the BIOS revision 1602, what we updated today. 
they're showing us everything they're showing us all of our stuff so that is pretty good guys and after that guys you guys can go ahead and do your uh, overclock or whatever settings that you do Thank you guys for watching my video i hope that it helped you a lot i hope that you was able to update your bias uh the easy way following my video i try to make my tutorials uh simple and very well explained and uh, very easy as well guys i know how complicated it can be trying to do a bias update if it's your first time so if this video helped you hit the like down below subscribe share that helps me guys that's the only thing that i ask from you guys hit the like down below that makes me very happy and I make happy tutorials so you make me happy I make you happy see equals you learn how to update your bias in under six minutes how great is that I'll see you guys next time stay beautiful as always that is right